<gasps> Take it to boss ladies on the warpath this morning. Every morning. No! Ding dong! Ding dong! Mom, I really think I could help this company if you just gave me a chance. Just concentrate on being my assistant. Were you always mean? I got big and I got rich. So now who gonna check me, boo? I wish you were my age. Then I'd check you, boo. I wish you were little. I told you, watch it. Jesus. I'm so excited to sit down with the ladies of Little. First of all, the trailer. Did you guys feel the love? Because the minute that trailer went out, we were just like rolling with laughter. So what were your reactions? I was really amazed at the love of the trailer. Yeah. I was like, wow, <laughs> people, are, people are into it. And then it made me realize like, oh, this is the first time in a very long time. I want to say since Crooklyn. Oh, and then we had a wrinkle in time, but like a little black girl lead. Yeah. Not that you're a little black girl. Yeah. <laughs> That's how good I get. I understand. Yeah. Young black girl. Young black Young girl. girl. Young yeah. lady black girl. I mean, and also a boss. I mean, Regina and Marseille. Like, first of all, did you ladies feel it on set being like EP? Now you got a first look deal. Did y'all feel that? Because I was like, I have life choices that I must have messed up. <laughs> so that for me, I was only concerned about Barbies and boys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so did y'all were y'all like, okay, she's our boss, but you know, also the the fourteen is like. <laughs> This, no, not this really. one is so smart yeah. and just Thank you. so incredibly like just wise and professional beyond her years. Like Thank you. once you know her, then I think you're not surprised. Yeah, right? you're not surprised at all. And she's also no. still a kid. It's not yes. like she's yeah. still grown. She's not grown. I mean, I no. still like boys and I still like all these <laughs> other teenage regular stuff. Yes. So it's I'm still me. So. Yeah. But she still feels like not fast. That, yeah, you know, like, yeah, like, yeah. No, like, <laughs> like slow yeah. down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, that's good. Well, you did have some fast moments in this because embodying sure your character, you got to flirt with Justin Hartley, mm. which is like anyone who's mm. watched This Is Us has wanted to flirt with him. So what was it like doing the little flirt with him uh, throughout the movie? I mean, when I saw the script, I was thinking like, who could this be? You know, I was like, ah. Uh, and then I actually looked at like who it was going to be. I was like, oh, OK. But working with Justin, you didn't make it weird at all. Because at first I thought it was weird. Because it could be weird. Yeah, yeah. It was the first day. Because that was like the first day of me being in Atlanta. We were just doing our stuff. And that was the first day of us working on set. So I was like, OK, this is a great first scene. I mean, I'm flirting with you. That's awesome, you know? Um, <laughs> but but no, he didn't make it weird at all. So it was it was lots of fun working with him. That was good. And then Regina, you're re teaming with Will Packer. You guys have such a great relationship. And then coming on to this, I think it was Lena that just talked about we're in a black renaissance right now mm -hmm. with like films and movies. But this one is such a fun comedy. Like, what are you looking forward to between Girls Trip and this? Like, mm -hmm. the future of you know black comedy is just having a a whole resurgence. I think. I mean, I just think it's exciting. It's an exciting time. It's a great time. There's so many amazing women to work with. Um, I love this one. We got to work together briefly in Blackish, but to be able to support her in this. Issa and I have wanted to work together forever, so to be able to work with people whose work I admire, women whose work ethic I admire, you know what I mean? And to see that there's, you know, Will who's putting that together and, you know, creating you know, the space uh, for us to do that. It's really, I, I mean, I think it's amazing and I, it's exciting because I get to see what more is going to come from myself and, and the women I work with. I mean, Issa's always doing something amazing and so I just think all the work individually and then what, what we will be able to collaborate with will be, you know, even more exciting. Yeah, and then Issa, on this one, I love because your characters deal with like, this was great women on this set, but that's a bad woman dynamic. And so <laughs> did, you think, did you think back to your bad bosses, maybe some, some slight, you know, Devil Wear Prada's moment for you? <laughs> yeah, I did. I thought back to, I tried to think back to bad bosses, but then I was like, oh, I was a bad employee. <laughs> like, I wasn't the best. I was the one like mad that I couldn't work on a script when I was supposed to be at work. And I think about like, I did have one bad boss, but I went and thinking about it, I was like, if I were her, I would, I would have fired me so quickly. I would have been so annoyed by me. So um, it just made me realize how to be a better worker. Because April in the movie really just needs to speak up, um, mm. even though her, her boss is terrible and doesn't <laughs> listen to her ideas. She needs a backbone as well. No, that's a good one. And then Jordan, we learn like there's reasons behind why Jordan is the way that she is throughout the film. But 
you got to embrace your inner mean girl because mm -hmm. I always think of you as like nice characters, and, like, <laughs> so sweet, like support the girls. You're just you're like everyone's mom. And in this one, you were so not nice. <laughs> Did you like embracing your inner life? Yeah, <laughs> it was fun. I mean, it's fun because, you know, in real life, you, you would never behave that way. Mm -hmm. So like for kind <laughs> But you know, for comedy sake, it really was fun. Like, you know, and it's really fun because, you know, for me, it's hard to not laugh at their reaction <laughs> because you have to see people reacting to you being a monster. Um, but yeah, no, it was fun. It was, it was, I have to say, I, I did enjoy it. And you enjoyed it, right? Yes, I enjoyed it a lot. It was <laughs> lots of fun. <laughs> so just a couple more before, uh, Regina and Issa, you guys are like maybe five years older than Marseille. Mm -hmm. So if you think back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for that. To <laughs> that time, is there something that so you really funny. missed from being, you know, 13? 14? No. <laughs> I hated that. It's funny, okay, like being nostalgic now, there's things that I would do differently. There's the music, the the time, the carefreeness, non-obligation. Yeah, no like bills. I miss that. No bills. Mm -hmm. You still found stuff to complain about. But it was, being 14 was rough. Just because there's just so much drama. Like even you were talking about earlier, so like drama with your friends that doesn't, doesn't even matter in the long run, but the music I miss a lot. You miss anything? I loved 14. Okay. <laughs> I had my friends at school. <laughs> I had like you my best friend. You were probably like the cheerleader, right? Yeah. With like friends no, everywhere. Not, not cheerleader like oh. literally, but like everybody wanted to be your friend. Yeah, I was I was a tomboy, you know what I mean? I had my brothers, that's mm -hmm. what I really miss. I miss, I miss the relationship that you have with your siblings when y'all are just around the house creating havoc for your parents. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And you don't know it. It's like there's something in that time that's like, when I look back, like those times are creating who I am today. You know what I mean? So I think I miss just the dynamics of like, there was a simplicity that I missed that was, you know, I ain't, it was, oh my goodness, my first crush. Oh. You were 14? Yeah, was your yeah I was like, for real? You was a little yeah. late bloomer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was a late bloomer. I was. Well, they're wrapping people real quick. Marseille, what are you looking forward to? Like, you've already done, like, half the things I would have wanted to do still. <laughs> so Wasn't I even thinking yeah. about. Yep. bad about asking you, but what are you looking forward to? Um, when, I get their age? Yeah, when, well, five years older. <laughs> yeah, like, five years <laughs> older, you know. 20. I mean, I'm really looking forward to driving, but I drive this year, so I'm wanting to, like, be a professional, better driver. Um, hopefully by that time I'll have like, I'll be able to retire by the time I'm like 25, maybe not, but we'll figure it out. But um, yeah, I mean, is it fun? Is it fun? Right now is the most fun I've had in my life. Okay, then I'm, I'm looking forward to it then, yeah. <laughs>